I don't want to make the guy's decisions for him, but I kind of think we should call rehab. Hiya everyone, I'm Jamie and this is Tell Me Why Chapter 3. And if I remember correctly, we were just on our way to see Sam, which I'm very excited about because I am convinced that this guy is the twins' dad. So, let's go and confront this guy. Right, okay, so this must be where he works. Or where he lives. I'm really not sure if it's where he, w where he works or where he lives. Why does it tell me to read? Oh, okay. It wants me to read that on the wall, okay. Good, he's here. He is indeed. Let's go and confront him. You did the thing and now we're born. I don't know, how do you confront someone who, thinks, who you think is your dad? Hey, you my dad. Oh, I don't know. How do you do it? Hey, I think you donated the, the baby juice to make me. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. No, serious mood. Serious mood. Serious mood. Serious mood. This is a big moment. Serious mood. Right, let's go confront. Right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Open the door, Ali. You can do this. You got this. What's he saying? I already got the lifters in there. Damn it. What was he saying about family is family? Hi. Hello. Hello. Yes, I am here. Are you okay? You yeah. alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat for that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> what a silly boy. I'd fix it. <clears throat> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? Uh, yeah, you my dad. I wanted to talk. I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Mm. Yeah. Ali, that is all not right. what I told you to say. Well, here she is. <laughs> what we got here? Ballot papers. Is this... The mayor election or something. Yeah, so we've got the ballot paper. Oh, this is for the Fishermen's Association. This isn't anything to do with the mayor campaign. And what's uh, this? Court appearance is mandatory. Uh, he's back at the house. He's fine. I back hope. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> we haven't actually seen him this chapter. What's he getting up to today? Who knows? You were hereby summoned to appear in answer of this complaint on the following date and time. What is the complaint? Oh, DUI. Yeah, that. Oh, God, you're Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, sleepy. But yeah, that makes sense with everything we know about Sam. Uh, slow. It's very, very slow. Slow. There's... A There's do. a lot to do, yeah. Of course, I mean, there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Yeah, there's a lot. What's this? Hey, cuz, I left you, oh, that's just about the boat. That's about the boat that, that the guy broke, I guess. And this is a... That's some stuff. I, there's a lot there. Mind some corroded, rusty ass junker. <laughs> oh, that's what he meant by family is family. <laughs> because he's trying to fix his cousin's boat. What the hell did I just steal? I'm guessing that's something, like, he's going to ask me to get stuff for him. But I've just jumped the gun and started exploring early. Examine. Watch this. Got some books. What's that? Oh, 
That's a really nice sextant. Uh -huh. It sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. I kind of know what they are, but not really. It is beautiful, though. It's beautiful. Well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Fair, fair, fair. Now that I know I can pick up stuff like I picked up that can, I'm kind of looking for other stuff that he might want me to get. I'm guessing that at some point he's going to ask us to get him stuff. Which is why I can pick that thing up. So I'm just like on, on, my, on the lookout for just other random stuff that he might need to do his, his man stuff. <laughs> oh, what's that? It just zoomed me in on that. Do not enter. Okay. Is this going to be another lean? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is such a beautiful view. I didn't appreciate it when I was right there. But for some reason from here, I'm like, yeah, that's beautiful. I haven't seen anything else that I might be able to pick up. Let's just look at the boat. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Oh, oh no, this is the boat he's yeah, fixing. Never mind. <laughs> haul out? Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. And I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so. Hmm. That is sus. Why did he pause before he said missing? And then he said missing in a really sus way. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. Not just superstition. This one time, Springhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm apprehensive, but I'm listening. 50 miles south in the Pacific. Our hold was full of the morning's catch. Started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn thing's useless. Stop us in our tracks, miles off land. And what happened next? <laughs> I'm so waiting for the banana to come into the we story. Anchor and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and head it back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of the banana. What does any of that have to do with a banana? I could imagine, like, no bananas on board. I don't know, because eating and swimming don't go well together because you cramp up, so no food, particularly bananas, because they're particularly bad for causing swimming cramps. But what he said has nothing to do with anything. He said it's not superstition. That it, and then explained superstition. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Never mind. I haven't seen anything else. God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? That's climate oh, change um, for you. There's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed. That's why we need to take immediate action. None of this, oh, we'll get this down to this. We'll get emissions down to this by 2050 or whatever the nonsense it is. Now. We need to do it now. We actually needed to do it like 20, 30 years ago. But, you know, now that we've spent all the time going like, uh, but is it real? While well, the planet's burning. <laughs> Be like if your house was on fire. And you're like, quick, we've got to get everybody out. Okay, like, quick, we've got to call the fire department. We've got to put out the fire. And people are like, nah, but is the house really on fire? It's like, well, yeah, there's the fire. They're like, yeah, but it could be a hoax. It, <laughs> it's just so stupid. And I, like, I love that meme where it's like all the benefits that doing something about climate change would bring. 
and then there's somebody in the audience going like, but what if it's all a hoax and we made a better world for no reason? <laughs> I can't understand like people against taking climate action at all. It just confuses me beat to all end. All right, enough preaching. Let's see what's in this cupboard. Oh, these look like things that he might need for his work. But I can't get any of them yet. Like, that roll and that can up there stand out. Like, they look like they're rendered slightly differently. Like, I'll be able to take them out. But I guess I can't yet. But if he does tell me to get anything, I know where to come. That cupboard. Right, I'm going to talk to him now because I've milled around his workshop for long enough. Give. Okay. There you go. How, this help? Have some of this. Oh. Thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, oh. uh, it's in a red can. Oh, okay. Princess. Yeah, don't call me a princess. Ali does not like it. Okay, it's in a red can. Did I see a red can in here? I didn't even know I was looking for anything. That's gotta be it, right? It's in a red can. Apparently, Ali can only carry one at a time. <laughs> time to leave. I'm gonna give him the, give him his red can. I don't even know what he needed it for because I think I should have talked to him before I picked it up. But then I might have actually understood what I'm looking for. There you go. I got your red can. Help right. Sam fix the engine. Let's see. Should be just about. And again. Uh -huh. Bit more. Pass me that wrench, will you? Oh, it's not quite fixed yet. <laughs> I got you a wrench. Why? Sam, are you our father? <gasps> she asked it. She said the thing. Confirm my suspicions, Sam. Confirm. Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Yeah, but what's the answer? If you figured we'd ask, where's well, where's the answer? I wish I was. Wait, what? What kind of answer is that? Wait, you're not? I'm sorry, Ali. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. What? No. No, you're lying. You're lying. All the evidence points to you. All of it. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. It's all circumstantial, hey, but it still you points no to right you. Coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. Stop lying. I I don't believe that. No, it's 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 too. It all fits together too well. Stop lying. Stop I'm these lies. So sick of being lied to. I ain't lying. I'd have been damn proud to be your daddy. Damn proud. Ugh, don't say daddy. I need proof, Sam. <laughs> too many memes, it's too creepy. Proof. Huh. Tell us who our real dad is. If you're I not him, have, uh, tell us. I wasn't capable. What? I was so convinced. God dang it. Season's closed for good on my little swimmers. Laura made me go straight to the dock after Richie was born. Ask Laura if you don't believe me. Vasectomies aren't 100%. I'm sick of this. Vasectomies aren't 100%. You can still I'm get so somebody pregnant even if you've had a vasectomy. I'm unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. That's, that's not proof. I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. I was I I was one hundred percent convinced that he was the twins' dad. Like so convinced. He obviously loved Marianne. Uh, his wife found out he was having an affair. Like. When was the last time you cracked a window? There was all sorts of proof. All sorts. I can't remember, there was something else that was really damning. Was it like the letter, there was like a letter in a barn or something? That had something to do with him? I can't remember, I, I've been playing this in such broken sections with like, no, I, I've been playing it with like big gaps in between, but 
Oh, I was so convinced. Who is it then if it's not him? Who's left? It can't be uh, Eddie, can it? Could it be? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I'm just trying to think of like people who are left. Let's open. Let's open stuff. He's he's gonna get ang he's gonna get more and more insistent that I go over there. Much better. There we go. I cracked a window. Now it doesn't smell like the eighties in here. Glacier Bay welcomes you. Sure. And what we got over here? Looking sharp, first mate Kansky. Is that a young uh, Sam? What's that now? <laughs> These pictures. Oh. Well, what a cutie. Yeah, that, that was a uh, long time ago. What a cutie. <laughs> Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I... Uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. I do love boats. It's been so long since I was on a boat. It's like I don't live by the sea or anything, so since the pandemic and lockdown and everything, I haven't really been able to, well, no, not really. Haven't been able to go anywhere near the ocean. Really want this pandemic to end. Jesus Christ. I really wish people would take it seriously so it could, you know, end. Anyway, not talking about that. Not talking about that. Not talking about that. We're looking at this laptop. It's the household. It's the household. What was that? I, did, I didn't hear that at all. Combination of me still... Speaking and Sam speaking. What the hell is this? Pay to the order of Sam Kamsky, $150. Talk to mom and she said you are having trouble. Okay, she he's he's given his given his dad some some money. Or his dad's giving him money. Love this pan. I've already forgotten what Can I read. Why is there a burnt-up <laughs> pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, I might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. You silly sausage. <laughs> oh, dear, Sam. <laughs> I get it, though. Life is tiring. I am not reading all that. That's just a recipe. <laughs> Salmon casserole. Sounds interesting, though. Um, I just want to make sure I've looked at everything, or mostly everything. Yeah, I'm going to sit down. What's all this? What is it all? I, uh, kept a few things. Do you know who our dad is? <laughs> uh, examine. What we got here? I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. Aww. That's such a pretty she picture. She up for a whole year to make that happen. Aww. Oh, okay. I am writing from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juno. And you were right. The kids love the whale mural. Our other favourite was the raven mural at City Hall. Today we took the tramway to the top of Mount Roberts. The kids wanted to hike the trail but we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the Galicia still looks like what's on the other side. I don't know why I'm reading it like this. Hope you're hauling them in by the barrel load, Marianne. Sam Kamsky address. Cool. We got a birthday card. Let's have a look. This is such a cute birthday card.
Dear Sam, most bears only live to 20 or 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out here, long out here without you. So thanks again for everything you do. Laura is a very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been erased, but as long as you don't forget, the something rose will always be seaworthy. It might just look a bit smaller in memory. I hope you get some time on the water with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve, including some new memories. Happy birthday, my cherished friend, Marianne. Aww. That's so cute. It's got like a cinema stub as well. Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. <laughs> Full drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. <laughs> did you like it? What did you think of it? Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before oh I my saw God. the <laughs> Oh, of course. That's cute, though. He had absolutely no interest in it, but he took it because she wanted to see it. That's cute. Your mother made that. She was a real artist, that one. That's cute. I yeah, like it. You. This is adorable. I love this. What is this? Is that Salmon? I'm guessing that's Sam and his wife, and then Marianne and Ty, maybe? Or just like Sam and his family. I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I have no idea what's going on there. <laughs> or it's like Sam, his wife, Marianne, and their son, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I didn't get any description for that one. <laughs> Can I have that picture? Look at these ones. Yes. I want to look. I was about to ask you for those pictures. She looks Aww. happy. Mm. She was. Mm. When was this? Oh my god. Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, Graduation, right? I finally got my captain's license. Yeah. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that Aww. stupid hat when I went to take the oath. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, Laura took this one. Oh, is that him building the barn? on that barn for months. Yeah. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Wait, what? Is that a trap door? Wait, what? You mean? what? We yeah. need to go into that thing. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. I told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so... We have got to get into that loft. We've got to get into that well, loft. We're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so... Yeah. We'll know soon enough. Ellie, are you really going to go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that... It's all we got left. You've got your memories. You can't just throw it away. I'm not throwing it away. <sighs> that is not a good thing. Like, I know it's been ages, but that is never a good thing to say to someone grieving. I know it's been a while, but that doesn't make his grief, like, any less valid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. He lost his best you friend. Need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it. I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Oh, not me. Shin a therapist. Snapped in three different places. Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and 
Drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. I watched the boats come in and out. Their friendship is so adorable. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, I think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember. Is he passing out? Ali, I don't want to make the guy's decisions for him, but I kind of think we should call rehab before this guy drinks himself to death. I'm really worried about, like, how much he's drinking. Can we please go to the house? I'm really, really worried about Ty. He's not been in this chapter at all yet. Like, literally not even a frame of it. And it's really worrying me. I'm worried he's not okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this is so intense. I'm going to pause it there. Because I'm going to end this episode here. Oh, wait, let's talk to Michael. Wait, why are we not talking to Ty? Never mind. But yeah, we'll, we'll go into that in the next episode. I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you back here tomorrow for the next video. Stay strange, everyone.